Hey guys, it is me, Happy Circuit, and welcome back to the Long Dark Tales from the Far Territory. So it's a brand new DLC slash expansion, and currently we're located in this new location that's been added during that DLC, that is the Forsaken Airfield. And now we have to continue looting this hangar because there is still a basement that I haven't looted. So let's hop inside of this hangar. And also inside of this hangar, there was some sort of a fridge, and I think we found a fish. So we also have to cook that fish because when we click tab, you can see that we have some sort of a scent. So that means wolves can and track us and there we go there's that basement that i wanted to check out but yeah before we cook that fish it would be nice to check the basement so let's start the light here also i'm getting a little bit tired because check this out when we go to inventory i can only carry now 34.55 kilos and we have 37 kilos but that's not that big of a deal because we have this huge log that we're gonna get rid of we're gonna cook this fish and we'll have way more space so i guess without any further ado let's go down the basement and i'm curious to see how big the basement is gonna be because the hangar itself was kind of large okay there is a box a crate bunch of other stuff and there go let's open the door oh and we are here now hangar basement okay 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 let's see what we can get here we got a workbench which is kind of cool oh and improvised crampons we can even craft them right now i don't know how heavy they're gonna be i mean they're 0. 0.75 kilos they're not that bad and it's gonna take us four hours to craft that so maybe we will do it there's also another memo okay let's get that memo let's take it it's not that heavy the door is locked on its own what's going on here like this heavy just hammer what we need no no you don't need a hammer just drop it back this is not a paranormal game it's these doors can't close like that. Spray paint, thank you. We don't need that. Imagine there's some sort of a monster. A monster in the long dark. That would be... That would actually be insane. Okay, nothing here. We got another lump of coal, which... I mean, we could probably take. Not that big of a deal. Another lump of coal. We could start a fire. That'd be awesome if I could start, start a fire here. Because we need light probably to work on those crampons. More accelerant that I'll probably take. And there we go. That's where we can start this forge. Oh, we can even sleep here. That's great. We got some water and sports socks, which we don't need. What is that? Lantern fuel. We might as well just get that. Okay, so I think it would be nice for us to start a fire over here. Okay, so here we'll be able to cook our fish. Perfect. I just realized that. Let's go down to the fireplace. Uh, we don't need any accelerant anything. So let's just start the fire. And there we go. Here we're gonna cook our fish. And maybe we're gonna start crafting those crampons. There's lots of coal around this place. So I'm just gonna dump all of that coal inside of this furnace. And it's gonna last here for a few hours. So that I have enough time to go and craft those crampons. I did it. There we go. Let's get a few lumps of coal. And handy. let's just add the fuel now. There we go. Bam, bam. It lasts for two hours, three, four, five, six seven hours and i have this huge fire log that just waits a lot and we just gotta use it it's gonna last for nine hours <laughs> there we go lovely this is bloody lovely and now let's try to perhaps hide this lantern you gotta be kidding me this doesn't light up anything there go there's a workbench can i work on these crampons we have to spend four hours working on them so what if i let's say work for two hours on that stuff begin crafting oh we can work we can definitely work on these crampons in the dark I mean, we could spend probably two more hours, but before we do this, I think it would be nice for us to go and drink a little bit of... I mean, we have sodas, so let's just drink that stuff. There we go, we're gonna restore a little bit of thirst. And now we don't even have to worry about that fire, because it's still gonna last for a decent amount of time. So I'm gonna finish building these crampons, and then we'll go and cook that fish. There we go, we've just eaten something. There's gotta be a workbench, like, it's absolutely dark, I don't see anything. But hey, let's spend now two more hours on these things. There we go, now it's gonna be probably night. There we go, it is night, and there we go, we've just crafted these improvised crampons. So yeah, this basement was kinda worth it. And now, let's go to the inventory, and let's find these improvised crampons. Where are they? There we go. We have these improvised crampons over here. How does one equip them? They go to accessories. Yes, indeed. We can add that stuff in accessories. Let's get that. Benefit sure footing. Okay, cool. Now, let's cook that fish that we have here. Rainbow trout. Let's drop it over here. It's gonna take us 55 minutes to cook that stuff. I think we're gonna hide this thing. It's still gonna last for about four hours. So, let's pass the time until it's ready. There we go. And let's take this trout. We're gonna get only 476 calories. Plus, this guy's getting very tired. And it's kind of night now, so I think we should go to sleep. Perhaps before we go to sleep, we could maybe get some more water. I mean, let's get that half a liter of water. 
There we go. Let's boil it. Let's take it. And how much water we have in the inventory? Let's check it and then perhaps we can go to sleep. Let's get one more can of water. There we go. That's gonna be great. Bam, let's smell the snow. Let's boil it and let's take it and let's take the can. And I think now we should go to sleep as the bed's gotta be around this place now. I don't see the bed. <laughs> we gotta- we gotta start the light. There we go. Where's the bed? I thought it's- oh, there we go. There's the bed. I knew that the bed is somewhere here. Okay, so now we can turn off the light. And we can go to sleep over here. Bam, we'll sleep for about probably eight hours. So before we go to sleep, we should drink all of that stuff that we have here. There we go, let's drink some more water. And now we can go to sleep for at least eight hours. Let's go. As they say, let's hit the sack. <laughs> and then I'm curious what other things we can loot in this place. We survived for six days and we are kind of a little bit thirsty, so... I mean, we could probably eat the shroud here right now. There we go, we've eaten that. We could drink some more water and let's sleep for a few extra hours just so that it gets brighter outside. And then we're gonna leave this place. I'll sleep for extra maybe four or five hours, extra five hours. Probably our character is gonna wake up in the middle of the night saying that he woke up rested fully. There we go, you woke up fully rested. That's what I was talking about. There we go, let's lie the lantern. And what time of the day it is? Okay, it's day! Great, so we can leave this place. We got some more coal. Maybe I'll take one this more lump heavy. of coal as they're not that heavy. And I think it's time for us to leave this place. And you can hear our different steps now. Listen to this. We can hear those metallic footsteps just because we have those crampons right now. So basically, risk of breaking our ankles is lowered. I think we can even go here and we can find that. Here goes sure footing. The crampon steel spikes give you better traction in icy terrain. To make rope climbing easier, sprains less frequent and weak eyes more forgiving. Okay, great. Now let's leave this place. And again, the door got locked. I'm pretty certain it's done on purpose. Maybe it's a glitch or something, or maybe it's done on purpose. But why does this door keep locking on its own? I don't get it. Okay, so we've looted all of this place here. We've looted these hatches as well, but I haven't looted all the hatches outside because... Yeah, I didn't know that last time. So let's go outside. Hopefully it's not some sort of a blizzard. Okay, so let's hide the lantern here right now. And let's loot the hatch of these things. And then we'll see where else we can go. But it's still kind of a bad weather. This is a pretty bad weather. Okay, nothing here inside of that hatch. And wait, let's quickly check how much space we even got here. 32 kilos. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. What we don't have is water. I should have gotten more water. But I will survive nothing in this hatch here. And we have... Okay, that's wind. That was either wind or wolves. That was either of them. Okay, there's another airplane. And a helicopter. Let's loot both of those things. And then I don't know where we go. I know that this place is kind of huge because before we came to this airfield, there were lots of ways leading and there were lots of paths. Scrap metal. We no longer need that scrap metal as we've gotten enough scrap metal to craft these crampons. Let's loot this hatch. And nothing inside of this hatch. Okay... The music sets in. This is lovely. <laughs> I always say this, but dude, I love what kind of feeling the Long Dark gives. Like, none other game can give you such an awesome atmosphere. There go. Let's load this Could thing. Could being useful. Worn mittens. Thank you. We don't need that stuff. Okay, so it is kind of cold. It is really cold. We came from that way, but where else could we go? Oh, there's another... That's an airplane. There we go. Let's loot that airplane. Maybe let's go that way. I can see something there in the distance, maybe. So we will try to figure that out because we've looted all of these buildings already. There's nothing that waits us. Have I looted this airplane? I don't even know. Maybe let's hop inside of the front seat and let's see if we can get anything here. Nothing, nothing. Okay, so we can leave the vehicle and let's go in the back seat. On the back seat of the airplane and then we'll loot the hatch. Yeah, there we go. We haven't looted the hatch yet. We've got an advantage, which we kind of already have a lot of bandages, so we don't need more. There we go. Let's leave that. Let's check the hatch now. I can hear wolves. They're so close. I'll get the newspapers. I don't see these wolves, but I know that they're close because I can hear them. Unless that's just wind howling, but I doubt it. Okay, nothing here either. Oh, there's another cabin. I haven't looted that stuff. There we go. Good, good, good. So let's go that way. Say goodbye, airplane. Goodbye, those hangars. We've gotten quite decent loot. I mean, we've gotten that fish. It was kind of huge. It was almost two kilos. That's like around four pounds. And we've gotten only 400 calories from it. That's not a lot of calories. There we go. We've Thank gotten goodness. an orange soda. Yes, let's get it. We definitely needed it. And before we hop inside of this building and before we loot it, I want to check everything around it. 
There's a veg that we'd probably destroy with this improvised hatchet. Because yesterday we've also gotten an improvised hatchet. And there we go. There is a metal container. Empty metal container, that is. Okay, I can hear more wolves. This is ridiculous. I just want to check around. Okay, there are some more cattails down there that we should get, probably. We know where this thing is. We're going to go and loot it. I just want to look around while it's still kind of bright. Is that something in front of us? I don't know. Well, I'm probably going to go that way after we are done looting this building. Because while it's bright, at least I want to know which way to go. Well, it's not to blizzard-ish. Let's open the door. Oh, we can even load in here, I thought. We're just going to open the door and that's it. Okay, so trailer forsaken airfield. Okay, trailer. Let's loot the trailer then. These are some quality tools. I don't think we need these tools. A little bit of accelerant. Let's get that. And jerry can. How heavy is it? Could be useful. We could get it. We probably still have enough storage for it. There we go. 34.36 kilos. Enough. Let's check the plastic container. A flare. We don't need more flares. New beef jerky. That's good. Let's get that. And we have a new balaclava, which we already have one. So sorry, we don't need to take it. We also can get cloth from these things. So let's break it down, as that's probably the most efficient way to get cloth, especially when you have a knife. You can get, like, what we've gotten there, three pieces of cloth in about nine minutes. We've gotten another revolver. Don't I have already one? I mean, we already have one revolver, so there's no need to take another one. But we could take these revolver cartridges. So let's get that. We've got a book that we don't need. And let's check the drawer. Nothing, nothing under the jar. You gotta be careful because there are some stuff. There's a snare. A simple snare used to capture a small game. Uh, let's get it. I mean, I don't know if I'll ever fish, but we are gonna try that. Uh, marine flare. Do we need one more marine flare? I don't know. We kinda... We have lots of loot. We got another granola bar. Stale granola bar, but it's still at 52%, so we should take it. Okay, this place at least has lots of loot. That's great. Let's get the beef jerky. Military grade MRE. It's at 39%, so I think we shouldn't take it. That's sad. It had lots of calories. I can always use more food. This energy bar is great. And another energy bar. This one is bad. 39%. Military coat. Worn military coat. Is it any good? We have a simple parka and a decent light shell. Like, both of these things are obviously going to be worse than the military coat. Okay, so from three second research, it looks like this military coat is going to be decent. Gonna We're going to take behind. it and let's equip it right away, probably. Let's equip it instead of this decent light shell. We're going to equip that and I'll probably drop this decent light shell as we don't need it. So this military coat is probably not the best thing in the game as there's also an expedition park and it looks like expedition park is better than this military coat that we have. This stuff will come Decent in. baseball gap. Thank you. Nope. And antiseptic. We don't need it. Nothing under the bed and let's look at these lockers. Perhaps something useful here. Wooden matches. Why not? Let's get them. And after we are done looting these lockers, I think we might quickly open our inventory and drop some things. Because we definitely have way too many things right now. Decent plaid shirt. That might be good. Another great military grade MRE and decent thin wool sweater. We don't need this. I dropped it back inside of that place. And let's check this plaid shirt and decent sweater. Let's see if these things are any good. So after a little bit of research, apparently this plaid shirt isn't that great. Let's drop it and let's get rid of this decent sweatshirt as well as they're pretty bad. We don't need that stuff. Oh, we also have new decent climbing socks and I haven't even equipped them yet. So let's get rid of these sports socks. Let's equip that. Let's drop these old socks that we totally don't need anymore. We need to get new thermal underwear, which I still don't have. That'd be lovely to get it. So we could do something here called the big brain move. Look at this. These ragged wool mittens are pretty decent. They're not going to be as good as these worn gauntlets, but these gauntlets are very heavy. They weigh one kilo, so it would be better to just repair these wool mittens and then drop these gauntlets. This way we'd have more space in the inventory. I'm also going to drop these ragged driving gloves. And I still can't probably repair... Oh no, we do have sewing kits right now. Don't I? Yeah, we can repair that stuff now. Great. Do I have... No, I don't have any la lanterns with me right now. So let's try to repair these mittens. There we go. We got a sewing kit. It's going to take us 30 minutes to do so. Am I going to repair it more? Okay, it's at 97% durability. That's good. So we can now equip this stuff. And then we can drop the gauntlets. There we go. Let's equip this. And let's drop the gauntlets. There we go. This way we'll have more space. Which again, 
Max gauntlets can protect you by plus two Celsius, and these things only go only up to one Celsius, but those gauntlets are very heavy. And now we should be able to repair these climbing socks just a tiny bit, but it's kind of bright outside, so I don't want to waste my time repairing those socks. All right, so we dropped some stuff on the ground. That's great. Let's drink some water, and let's go outside. There we go. So I think we are done with this place. There's nothing much we can do here. We could keep repairing our socks, but as I said, I'm going to repair them a little bit later. But yeah, we dropped these gauntlets, some painkillers, because they lost all the durability there a little bit of coal and other garbage oh there's this first aid kit thing that i haven't searched yet another sewing end. kit obviously we gotta take it and energy bar and that is it there's this almost broken energy bar i think we should eat it before it goes stale and i can't eat it later there we go let's eat it right now and now let's leave this place and let's go outside and let's see what other things we can find here okay we've also just warmed up because look at the down left corner the the warmth thing is full and it's still basically middle of the day so i'm just gonna keep going that way we came from there we've looted this thing and we'll keep going that way i see something in the distance i don't really know if that's a cabin or that's just something else i mean we're about to figure that out and wait before i go further i want to see if i can yes indeed we have this revolver so I might as well just load up more bullets in it. There we go. Just in case if we see a wolf, we'll be able to protect ourselves with that. And yeah, other than that, now I have no idea where I'm going. I just want to explore this forsaken airfield fully. Okay, let's not get stuck there. Because obviously there were more things added in this place. Other than that hangar and a few helicopters and airplanes. Like this entire place has been handcrafted and I want to check it out. I want to loot everything. I want to see what this place has to offer. Oh no, it started getting dark so quickly. Hasn't it? This thing is empty. Wait, when I go inside, I'm protected from the wind. Is it really getting that dark or am I just imagining it? Maybe I'm just imagining it. Perhaps let's hide the gun. We have mittens, right? But look at this. When we get the gun, the guy takes off his mitten. That's weird. We didn't see a mitten there. I assume there's not going to be anything on this side. We got another rock. I'm not taking it. Okay, so I'd love to go down, and maybe we're just gonna go that way. I don't know if we're gonna find anything, but that's the whole point. Oh, there's an airplane there. There we go. <laughs> Let's go for it. But that's the whole point of the adventure. That is the whole point of the long dark. You go, and you don't know what you're gonna find. But hey, we're gonna get these cattails now. As they're pretty decent food. Let's get that and one cattail head, and the rest I'm not gonna be taking those cattail heads. Let's take this, so we're gonna drop the cattail head. But sooner we're gonna run out of space, so I don't know what we'll do. Let's take one, let's drop it. We need food, and these things are not heavy at all. They're like 50 grams. Let's get that. Because sometimes you have a lot of food, like that's what the long dark is probably about. You have sometimes lots of food, you have excess of food, and sometimes you're even thinking about dropping some of it. And then there are cases where you have nothing. I think I see wolves in front of us. So you gotta be careful about that. And we are gonna go towards that airplane. But how about I check this side? There's something that way, perhaps. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. So do I go that way and then we turn back? There's also a tower. Is that the tower where we came from? Probably. Do we go towards that airplane or do we go there? I don't know, I want to go there and then we'll go towards that airplane. As there were wolves that way. So I'm not too excited to go and meet those wolves. I don't want to encounter that stuff. And at least it's a nice weather now to explore because the first time when we came here to this for a second airfield, I wanted to explore it, but we couldn't do anything. As there was a blizzard. I keep hearing those wolves. They get closer and closer. I don't like that. But hey, that is all right. I'll keep going that way as I feel like there might be something. If there's nothing, then we're just going to turn back and I'll go towards that airplane. I kind of don't want to sprint because we are getting tired quicker that way. But we have to cover some ground, don't we? Also, look at this. There's like some sort of a fence. So that means somebody's been here. Somebody's built that fence. So maybe we are going somewhere. Look at this. There's a road. Ladies and gents, we've reached the road. If that's not awesome, I don't know what is awesome. So apparently there's nothing that way though. Maybe we just got to follow the road then. Maybe we are not even going to go towards that crashed airplane. Let's get some more cattails. Cattail stock. Thank you. No. Actually, we are taking the cattail stalks, but we're not taking cattail heads. And there we go, sprain risk. You know what, let's just quickly open the inventory here real quick, and let's just drop some things. I mean, we have lots of fuel. 
Which is kind of heavy-ish. But how about... So let's just drop it. Let's just drop one jerry can. There we go. We just dropped it. Now we have... More space. It is fine. We don't need that much fuel anyways. So yeah, I'm just gonna follow now this road because I'm pretty certain if we go that way, we're gonna get back to that Forsaken airfield. But I wanna go this way because I'm pretty certain I haven't come from this side. And maybe if we're gonna follow this road, we'll find another tiny village. Maybe another cabin somewhere. That would be really epic. Okay, so let's check this out. We have here some more cattails. There we go. Let's get all of them. That'll be very, very worth it. So we're gonna have food for days. Even though, again, that, those cattails don't really restore that many calories. One cattail here gives you only 150 calories. But when you eat 10 of them, that's gonna be 1,500 calories. Which is totally decent. That's why we gotta harvest that many of them. And the best part about them is that they don't spoil. I mean, they probably do spoil, but they spoil way slower than meat. So that's why I'm taking that stuff. And also, I'm kind of curious, how does one fish? Because I've only fished in this game maybe once or twice when I started playing the Long Dark, and that's it. I don't think you can fish over here because we have a tackle. But yeah, I don't know how does one get a hole here. I think the hole has to be in some sort of a cabin, in some sort of a tiny, tiny building, in a tiny hut. And only then you can fish there. And for that, you also need to have an improvised hatchet. I think that's how it works. Okay, let's get back on the road and let's follow it. Like, I can... I can smell that we are getting somewhere. Look at that airplane! I think we found something secret, perhaps. I'm pretty sure that's something useful. Okay, let's loot the guy now. Poor dude. Uh, worn hoodie. I don't think we need one. I don't think they're good. We have an emergency kit that we're gonna loot. Okay, here we are warming up. If I go outside, we're gonna lose our warmth. Okay, that's good to know. Any notes? Nope, nope. Well, we're gonna loot this here. We probably... Oh, I don't even get nothing! That's a bed here. We can sleep, but we don't even get a flare gun. Oh, there are these boxes that I haven't looted yet. Nothing inside of the box. Another locker. This will come in Worn handy. trail boots. Are there any good? So I've done some more research, and these trail boots are kind of all right because they don't ruin our mobility. Because the current insulated boots that we have here, they're great, but they reduce our mobility by minus 12%. So we can't sprint as fast. And these shoes would be better. But I don't really know if I want to get rid of that stuff. There are better shoes. There are mukuklus or whatever they're called. Those shoes are great. So those are the shoes that I want to find. I gotta get the mukuklus. So I'm not taking the trail boots. Anything useful here? Nothing. There's no way that this helicopter has nothing else. Look at this. There are more things. Another sewing kit. There we go. I'll definitely get it. Perhaps something useful. Nope. 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 I mean, I've checked everything then. Kind of ridiculous, isn't it? I thought that we're gonna get more loot. Oh no, there we go. There are more boxes. I knew that there's gotta be something else. Decent windbreaker. Maybe that's good. I'll take it. We'll do more research on that windbreaker. If it's any good or bad. So you know what? I'll probably drop this windbreaker. Even though it is great. It protects me more from the wind. It improves our mobility, but it reduces our warmth and it's also not that heavy but i'll still drop it i still feel like the simple parka is better again maybe pro players would disagree with me but what would i know it feels like that thing is worse is there a hatch here there's got to be a hatch in this uh, helicopter somewhere there was something i just saw it or maybe there was nothing maybe i'm just mistaken oh i can only look stuff through the window the emergency kit okay cool i thought i can Get some loot. Okay, so apparently there's no hatch. Alright, understandable. Have a nice day. So let's leave this place. Even though, again, the windbreaker might have been nice. We could move faster, but you know what? That's... Alright. Okay, so the wind starts howling. That's not good. So hopefully the weather doesn't get too terrible. I'm gonna go back on the main road. Because if I don't go back on the main road, I think I'm gonna lose on where I'm going. Because it's easy to get lost here, especially if a blizzard starts or something. You won't see the road, and I'll start walking in circles. So I just want to follow the road. I remember playing in the winter mute mode here in the long dark. So for those who don't know, that's some sort of a story mode. And 
you go to a very cold place and it constantly has blizzards and I remember I had to follow like some sort of a road and I couldn't see anything farther than like three centimeters away from me and then I remember like road somehow so way ended it was full with snow and we almost got lost there like it's it's epic this game is awesome so if you have the long dark and you've never played the winter mute mode the story mode make sure to check it out as it's definitely amazing oh and that's it we're getting more and more tired let's open that up 34 kilos. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. That ain't good. So we have to find something. We are. We also need to drink a tiny bit. Let's just drink it here in the middle of the road. This way we'll have more... Uh, storage. There we go. That's better. Is that a bear over there? That's a bear, dude. That is a bear. So I'll try to walk around it. I mean, I'm gonna take out my gun. I don't even know how many bullets we need to deal with that bear. I don't want to fight it. Like, that's the last thing I want to do right now. We can have a flare. Maybe Marine flare can help us out. Don't know. But that's it. If the bear's gonna attack us, we die. That's it. We're done. There's nothing else I'll be able to do. We won't be able to reload. We won't be able to do anything. Wait, that, the road leads both ways. We can go towards that bear now. This is kind of stupid, isn't it? Why would I want to go towards that bear? Oh no, the road only goes towards that bear, and that's it. There is no other road. I thought we can go that way. We have the crampons, so maybe they're gonna save me from breaking my ankles. I don't want to break my ankles. Hey, the bear's there that way. We gotta avoid it. Also, these mushrooms here. I want to take it. What does it even do? A large edible mushroom. I mean, I'll get them. They're not that heavy. It says that they're edible. I never tried to eat them before. Not in real life, not in the game. Where is the bear? Look at this dude. Look at this dude. He keeps walking. I mean, we have a few bullets, so things go wrong. I'll just do a few shots, but I think it's going to keep charging until we kill him. I don't know. There we go. There's the road. I mean, we just had to go around. There's The road doesn't lead anywhere else there. I don't think we're going to get anywhere. We got to go back up. Well, I'm just going to assume that we got to go back up because where, why else I would go that way? I mean, we're not that cold, so while we're not that cold, we can go over here. Where's the the thing? Nope. Uh, I think it's in navigation. There we go. Let's get it. And let's do some stuff here. Let's survey the local area. There we go. That's where we are. This stuff, this stuff. Okay. I don't have the slightest clue where we are. And the wolfos are still walking that way. Well, I'm gonna go back up then. Because I really don't think there is anything waiting for us that way. Unless I'm wrong, which might be possible and i'm certain that we did not come from this place because we came from that way so now we are on completely opposite side correct we've never been here and there's a trail so obviously it's intended for us to walk here and i'm walking on the snow because i feel it's better because look at this when we go on the road you'll hear those metallic sounds look at this it doesn't sound good i feel like i'm breaking those crampons so i feel like Walking on the snow is better. I don't know. Well, whatever. I'm gonna go up here. Do I break these crampons when I walk on the road? Do they have durability? I mean, it still says that they're at 100% durability, so they're probably at 100% durability. I keep sprinting, but yet we're almost out of energy, and I think I saw something green up there. That might be another trailer. Maybe a tiny cabin to loot, but I, hopefully I don't sprain my ankle here. I saw something green. Was that nothing? There is something. I knew it. I knew it! I'm not an idiot! I knew that that wasn't just a figment of my imagination, so... Let's go to that cabin. Let's check it out. And this is so cool that we decided to leave that forsaken airfield. Look at this! Look at this beautiful cabin. It looks amazing. This is gonna be our new home. Actually, we don't have a home here in this game. Oh, this road would lead us here and that's it. Oh, that's what we came for. We came to this cabin, which is kind of fun to loot it. I mean, I'm glad that we came here. We will check it out. Does it have anything else? All right, so there we go. Let's check everything around this so place. Hungry in my life. Oh, well, the dude is actually hungry. Uh, we're gonna eat quite soon, no worries. Do we go from the other side? Oh no, it's just, it doesn't even load in. We are just here where there's so many things. Combat boots, leather shoes, jeans, trunk. I mean, before we do anything, I think it's time for us to eat some stuff. We got, I mean, we got lots of stuff to eat. Let's eat everything that we have here, especially the lower quality food first, because it's not gonna last here forever. We have those MREs and 
they're great. We could eat these pork and beans, but I'd like to cook them first. I don't know if we're gonna get any buffs or anything, but I just want to cook them. Jeans and these combat boots are not heavy. good as they're very heavy. Super heavy combat boots. Not good. Not good at all. More maple syrup. We can take that. Uh, stored water. Ooh, we can get a decent amount of water. Let's say we're gonna take all of the water. And is it good water? Yes, indeed, that's good water. So we can drink it right away. There we go, let's drink it. And yeah, look at this, we can only carry 28 kilos. And probably that's where we'll be sleeping. Wait, I wanna go outside. Is there anything else that we can find? This is beautiful. Vista locations, surveying the local area will reveal a significant portion of the region. Ooh. I don't have charcoal! Except I think that can be fixed quite soon. Let's go over here. Let's take the charcoal from this furnace. And there you go, let's survey the area. There we <laughs> Sorry, that sounded weird, but that's actually crazy. I did not expect they will be able to see that much. Oh, ice fishing hole. Look at this. We can see what's up. There is also hunters blind that haven't been there. Final approach, there's a frozen corpse. We've been here. So guys, we came from this way. We checked those cattails. I went that way. And how on earth there's this cabin, right? We are here right now. Island Cottage. There's a plastic container outside. I haven't been there. So how did I get to this place? Apparently, we don't have here a second floor. Uh, oh, no, there is a second floor because for don't a second, I was like, wait. I feel so tired. Because you're tired. But yeah, for a second, I thought that there is no second floor. So I was like, what's the point of such a tall house with such a tall roof, especially when there is no second floor? Like... That's gonna take more energy to heat up the house, but apparently there is a tiny second floor. Okay, let's loot these jars. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. Okay, uh, sardines. Yes, you better take it. We've gotten a cooking pot, a sturdy pot for melting snow and boiling water. It is heavy, we're not taking that cooking pot. I remember once I used to carry that cooking pot with me all the time. That, that was so stupid when I just think about it right now. I've spent probably my entire series playing with that huge cooking pot. I spent lots of hours playing with that cooking needs this pot. Anymore. West stone, I don't need it. We're gonna go to the second floor very soon, plus more water. I can't even take it. Yeah, there we go, let's take that water. Let's take the water. I haven't opened this door yet. Yeah, there we go, let's close the door. More clothing. I think we've looted everything on the first floor. Now let's go on the second floor. Let's see what this place is. Mokuklus. Oh, these are the best shoes in the game. Use this. The best shoes in the game. Let's get them here right now. Wool socks are all right, but not as good as the climbing socks. We don't need more matches. As we already have a lot of them and decent sweaters. Thank you. Now I need them. We're still kind of hungry. I mean, I like starting fires. What can I say? Uh, I want to start a fire. Maybe it's not even worth it. I want to use a little bit of accelerant. And there we go. Let's start a fire here right now. I just want to start it. I don't think we got any... I mean, I can add one lump of coal. There we go. It's going to last now for hour and 20 minutes. I want to start cooking these pork beans. Even though probably, again, we're not going to get any buff, but I just don't want to eat them cold. As I said, this game is immersive. Like, it's just fun to cook that stuff, so let me cook it. <laughs> I want to cook my food. Okay, there are these jeans that we already have, so thank you for not taking them. No, we don't. We do not have the jeans. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. We don't, we don't have the jeans. Wearing jeans in this weather is horrible. It's a big no-no. Okay, the beans are going to be ready in 10 minutes. Not the beans, but pork. Yeah, pork and beans. Let's eat that stuff here right now. There we go. That was amazing. Now we are also warming up. And we have to start repairing those Mokuklus. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm pretty certain they're Mokuklus. Maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, all what matters is that we are going to actions. And let's try to repair that stuff. It's going to take us an hour and a half. So I guess we could do it. Yeah, there we go. Let's repair it. It's going to be night right now. There we go. The fire has run out. Have we repaired those shoes fully or not? I don't even know. At 84% durability and they're already better. Let's try to go to actions and let's try to repair that stuff again. Let's use the sewing kit. And it's night now. What happened? Maybe we failed or maybe we're too tired. There we go. We are repairing, repairing, and those shoes are now at 100% durability. Imagine harvesting them just for two cured leather. And that's also going to take one hour to harvest that stuff. There we go. Let's re uh, equip these new mukuklus. There we go. Let's wear that. Let's drop these old shoes. There we go. Way better. And we have these ragged climbing socks to repair. 
Let's also repair that stuff. It's gonna take us 40 something minutes. It is night now, but it is still bright. Just because we are on the top, but it's still bright here, which I kind of don't understand how that works. There we go. I've repaired my socks, haven't I? Oh no, there we go. It's not bright outside anymore. Look at this. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I mean, things are howling and whatnot, but it is beautiful here. But also, why would anybody build a house so close to the cliff? Isn't that dangerous or anything? This is awesome. This is beautiful. There we go. Let's try to go back here. So now we have upgraded everything. Now we should just sleep. I think there is a bed up here. I mean, I don't see anything. I kind of see a little bit. There we go. No, no, no. This. There go. There's the bed. We're going to go to bed very soon. But before we sleep, time for us to drink as much water as we can. Then we're going to eat. And then we can hit the sack. There we go. Let's go over here. And let's eat those sardines. Yeah, let's restore our hunger fully now. Let's not be hungry. Let's maybe even drink this maple syrup. Wait, we just chugged down the entire thing. Wow. There we go. Let's eat some more. And let's eat a granola bar. There we go. We've just eaten. Now we can drink some more water. And we can go to sleep for a few hours now. Probably eight hours just as always. And I think as soon as we wake up, it's going to be another morning. There we go. Let's go to sleep. Maybe we'll have to sleep for extra few hours because we're not going to restore our energy fully. So it takes more than eight hours to restore it fully. Maybe 14 hours. Or it's almost morning outside. Kind of want to see how it looks like. Then we'll go back to sleep because as you can see in the down left corner, we still need to restore about a quarter of our energy. Ooh, it is pretty. It is pretty. And I think it keeps getting brighter. We can see it. Okay, cool. Beautiful morning, but Sire's going to go back to sleep. As we need to restore our energy fully. There we go. I woke up thirsty. Let's drink right away. I don't think that's going to affect our buff. As long as we do it fast, that's not going to affect our buff. Okay, so we don't have any more water. Why do we have insomnia risk right now? Avoid the glimmer fog or find an underground location to lower the risk. You risk insomnia by spending time inside the glimmer fog. So that's a new thing that they've added to the game. hear that it's a new new thing that they've added everything is like electric but this weather is kind of cool we've never seen this weather before i wanted to experience this weather a bit more but this is so cool the sound design here is insane i love that i do do love that there we go let's get back here all right so check this out now we no longer can sleep we've gotten this insomnia thing caused by glimmer fog and wait 18 to 36 hours for affliction to pass herbal tea can help lessen the impact of insomnia so maybe we can craft that herbal tea if i had any there we go let's go over here just for a little bit maybe i shouldn't run i shouldn't sprint because it's gonna take us a while until i can sleep again oh no wolfos wolfos are never good what if i use this charcoal to survey this local area what have i found i found this place so we are here. That's the thing then. We are here. We are in this cabin. We haven't explored. That's not where we are. This island cottage. That's not where we are. That would make more sense because we came all the way like that. Boom to this cabin. So we got to go past the cabin on the ice. And only then we'll be able to get to this island cottage. That's why I couldn't find any metal containers. But how does one get to this island cottage? This place wasn't even marked on the map. <laughs> That, that is kind of crazy. Okay, don't want to break my knees or anything. Because that makes sense, because I knew that this is the airplane, right? That's where we were. And I was like, how on earth do we cross this frozen lake? And how on earth we've gotten to this island cottage? That made no sense, but we went like this on the road. Bam, bam, and there we go. We came to this cabin here that's not even marked on the map for some reason, which it should be. But now everything makes total sense. So our goal now is to descend lower, go on the ice, and then we got to get to this island cottage because I'm kind of curious what that place is about. But we're going to do that stuff in the next episode, so subscribe to not miss that video. And a highly suggestion check it out my scum survival let's player click on the second card i'll go to my grounded let's player hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that i played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep